Stop wasting hours making content the old way. The tools I'm about to show you let you produce studio level videos, graphics, audio and scripts in minutes. These are the top five AI tools that every creator needs in 2026. And after this video, you'll wonder how you ever got by the old way. Hey, I'm Mike Russell, and when it comes to AI, I simply love it. So much so that I created another channel dedicated exactly to it. When I'm not editing audio, I spend my days tracking all the latest releases from tech companies and talking about it on my other channel, Creator Magic. Make sure to head over there and give it a subscribe. Anyway, let's start with tool number five. Eleven Labs on my screen right now for AI voice and magic. It's become the standard for ultra-realistic voice cloning, multilingual dubbing, and emotional voiceovers as well. And here's the craziest part. This isn't even my real voice anymore. <laughs> So what's good about 11 Labs? Well, as you could just hear that, I just type in a script and it will say whatever I want it to say. So for instance, here in the text to speech box, I've typed in, hi, I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio Creative. Hi, I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio Creative. And one more time. Hi, I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio Creative. Pretty, pretty cool. But it doesn't stop there because I can actually search over here for different voices, not just my own voice clone. For instance, I can type in Zeus and here we go, the voice of God. And then I can generate. This is absolutely epic. Wow. And then we can say, I love MRC and we can generate again. This is absolutely epic. I love MRC. And then we can type in a different voice, maybe. How about the creepy voice guy? That sounds like a good idea. This is super sus. Let's type that in and generate. This is super sus. Whoa. I love jingles. And then we'll generate. I love jingles. That's definitely freaking me out quite a bit. Now, it doesn't stop with just the voice clones and the voice library. You can actually license legendary voices. Look at some of the people, including Michael Caine here. This is amazing. We can scroll through and license. Look at this, Michael Caine. In the end, it's not about being the loudest in the room. It's about knowing when to speak and when to listen. Pretty incredible stuff, right? So that's text to speech, but what about sound effects? We can go into the sound effects generator and get started creating anything we can imagine. So I'll start with a car zooming by, and here we get four different takes. Nice, and another one, and another one, and another one. <laughs> and then we can type in something else, such as a cockerel in the morning, and then we'll go ahead and generate this sound effect. Let's have a listen. Nice. Yep. Yep. Those are ear piercing, but they definitely work. Now, while AI is great, I'm a huge supporter of human talent too. While this saves me a lot of time on narration, creativity, generating fast, Music Radio Creative, my own company, is the largest human voiceover agency in the world. So check out some of the best selling voices down below. And now let's move on to tool number four, which is Riverside. Now, this is why it's great for 2026 and beyond. You can create your best content with AI-assisted tools, whether it's a podcast, video interviews, social media clips, transcriptions, webinars, video marketing, AI show notes and captions. You can do it all in Riverside. Let's take a look. Riverside basically gives creators a podcast studio and video editor in the browser with AI-driven cleanup. The best parts, you know the voice cloning we've just looked at with Eleven Labs? Well, multilingual dubbing is also included right here, and I believe it's powered by Eleven Labs. Look at this. I've had a recent webinar. I presented inside Riverside translated completely into Chinese. Let's play it. 同时，他会以尽可能高的质量为每一位参与者录制清晰的音频和视频。That is pretty impressive, and what you'll notice is it also syncs my mouth to the spoken Chinese language, which is pretty incredible, meaning it's a seamless experience for users from around the world who want to consume my content in another language. And the best thing, it allows you to edit your content with AI tools. Just look at this. I can use things such as remove filler words. With this enabled and smart, it will remove all my ums and ahs automatically. I can also go through and find fluff. This will recommend parts to cut from my script. So if I'm not making sense, the AI producer will go through and cut those bits out for me. Also, when we've finished with that, we can go to the Made For You section and it generates magic clips for you. These are AI-generated clips of your 
recording, usually about a minute in duration, that you can easily click the share button on and send out to your favorite social network. Now, you can also correct mistakes with voice generation that's trained on your voice. Let's listen to this bit. Let's do it for 10 seconds. Okay, so I said let's do it for 10 seconds, but actually I meant to say 20 seconds. All I need to do is go to this video dub option here, confirm, and then type in the new number. So 20 seconds, generate. As you'll see, it's now dubbing the new number there to my voice. I can literally correct any part of my script using this feature. Okay, it's done. Let's listen to the new dub. Let's do it for 20 seconds. Did you hear that? Let's do it for 20 seconds. Let's do it for 20 seconds, all dubbed, and my mouth moves to say the word 20. Pretty incredible. Now let's move on to tool number three. That's Adobe Firefly for AI design and creation. Now the best thing is you can choose any image generation model you like. The Firefly models from Adobe or partner models such as Flux, Gemini's Nano Banana, Imagen, GPT Image, Ideogram, and Runway 4. So I'm going to stick with Nano Banana Pro and I'll say I want a photo realistic image of an epic recording studio. And then we'll just click generate. Okay, that image is not too bad, but take a look at this. I can actually upload reference images from my device. So if I like, I can select up to six images here. I'm going to first of all upload this generated image as a reference. Then I'm going to go ahead and upload something else. Yes, I'm going to upload this scene and then I'm going to upload something else. And from my device, I'll upload a picture of me. And finally, one more image to use four out of the six slots. I'm going to upload our logo. So now I've got a photorealistic image of an epic recording studio with a scene like that. So we've given it a lot of context, we've improved the prompt, and we've attached four different reference images here, the original creation, an outdoor scene, a picture of me, and the Music Radio Creative logo. Stand by. And look at that. That's pretty incredible the way it has taken this picture here and put it outside the window. It's taken a picture of me. Yes, it's placed me with my t-shirt on in that chair. It's also taken the MRC logo, put it up on the TV screen there and used my original image. Now it doesn't stop there because Firefly integrates so tightly with other Adobe products like Premiere, Photoshop, Illustrator and Express. Look at this. I can actually click the Photoshop icon. It will take me straight out to Photoshop on the web. And now here is my image and I've got all kinds of other AI superpowers over here. I'll just use the selection brush where I can actually automatically select objects if I like. It's determined a few objects I may wish to select, but I'm actually going to make it a bit smaller and select both of these people in the other room. So one there and one there. And then we've got a remove tool right down here. I can click it and boom, within seconds, those two people from the control room have completely disappeared. We've also got other generative options here. So we can go ahead and do a generative expand. If we want to make this slightly bigger, we just click expand. Expand. It's actually going to use AI to expand this image and make it even bigger. And look at that, it's done it flawlessly. Now, when we go ahead and zoom in, we might notice it's looking a little bit grainy. Well, we can fix this with generative upscale on our image. We can choose two times bigger or four times bigger. Click upscale. And look at that, we have been completely upscaled on this image and so much so that I can actually zoom in and things definitely look a lot sharper in this image already. Next, we'll go back into generative fill. I will go ahead and select maybe this corner up here and we can use any AI model. I'm actually going to go ahead and use Nano Banana down here and I'll say text and then AI tools 2026 in bright, bold, colorful text. And we'll fill that with the text. Nano Banana will go ahead and generate this via Google's Gemini and we'll have it inserted into our picture. And stand by. Look at that. It's put AI tools in bright, bold, colorful text into my image. So great for thumbnail design and a lot more. All right, next up, tool number two is VO3 for AI video generation. It's shaping up to be one of the best AI video generators out there for cinematic, coherent and creator friendly content. And remember Riverside that I was demonstrating earlier? Well, it actually uses VO3 for their B-roll AI generation tool. So having that one tool actually gives you access to what you're about to see here. Now, I'm actually using Google Gemini here, my account, slow motion, cinematic macro shot of a camera lens rotating under soft neon lighting, soft depth of field, shallow focus, high contrast bokeh, motorized slider. This is going to be pretty incredible. Let's go to tools and we'll switch it over to create videos with VO and we'll send it off. And look, here's our first generation, even with sound effects included. 
Okay, let's generate another image with VO3, a high-tech creator editing studio in 2026. That's my prompt up there. Wow. That is insane. Very cool. Finally, with my one more generation on my Gemini account, I'll do a lone person jogging on an empty road at sunrise, and we've got a drone following them. This will show you the capability of VO3 for B-roll and the ability to generate sound effects that sync to your video. Okay, it's generating my video. Remember, these can take one or two minutes, but they're definitely worth the wait. Here we go, we have it, let's play it. Music, jogging sound effects, beautiful motion, crisp and clear. This is VO3 in action. And finally, number one, the last tool on the list is Zapier. I use this daily and it's not just another AI tool. It's actually the automation glue that makes other tools 10 times more powerful. It lets you create autopilot systems such as a content creator. It basically shows you the next evolution of creation, not just making content faster, but actually getting AI to do things for you while you sleep. It's very visual. Let's actually take a look at building a couple of quick, easy automations. So for this one, this is going to be my AI content scout, and I won't even add the triggers or actions. I'll tell the AI copilot to build it for me. I'm a content creator who would like new stories about video editing daily, get them from perplexity and put them in a Google Sheet. That's all I need to tell the AI copilot, and this will then be built out for me. There we go, it's already added in a daily trigger to run this app daily, and then it's going to go to Perplexity to get video editing stories. It's also setting up my Google Sheets account for me, and with Perplexity, it's connected to my account. It's actually going to fill out the prompt for Perplexity right here. And you can see the user message is find three to five interesting stories about video editing. You're a content research assistant. Just to summarize here, the schedule will trigger it every day at four in the morning. So I've got content ready when I wake up. Perplexity will then go ahead and it will reach out and find three to five interesting stories about video editing for me. If we actually test this step right now, Let's expand this and look at the response and you can see it's reached out to various different websites, which is fantastic. And it's giving me stories and links, which is really cool. And all of this will be inserted into a Google Sheet for me to read daily. I just need to configure my drive and choose the spreadsheet where I want to record the info. Really cool stuff. Let's create another workflow with my AI Copilot. And for this prompt, I've kept it simple. I'd like an automated AI assistant that responds to comments on a specific YouTube video. Again, the Zapier AI Copilot will think this through and set it up for me. Look at this immediately. It set up a YouTube trigger every time there's a new comment on a video. Perfect. Now it's added a chat GPT step to actually generate a response to the comment it finds. And finally, it's setting up my YouTube channel here. And now you'll see it's written a prompt for ChatGPT to take the comment and create a nice response. So to summarize that automation that was built for me in about a minute, it will go out every time there's a new comment on a specific YouTube video, feed it to ChatGPT to generate the response, and then post it to my YouTube channel in response to the comment. That is extremely cool, and it can all be automated in a few clicks. So these are the top AI tools for content creators in 2026 and beyond. Which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you need any help, I'm reading the responses, and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you so much for watching, and YouTube is showing a video on your screen now. You should watch next. Thanks.